Hi there, welcome back. Now my next guest has been making headlines as much for her fashion style, I guess, recently as for her fab music. But I'm going to be talking to singer-songwriter Eliza Doolittle in just a moment. But let's take a look at this. I don't mind it where you got the best in me when you... Eliza Doolittle made her name with the hit single Skinny Jeans three years ago. In the same year, her self-titled debut album went platinum and the next single, Pack Up, went to number five in the charts. Since her first album, Eliza's been on a world tour and performed at some of this summer's big music festivals. Her second studio album, In Your Hands, came out two months ago, and now she's ready to take the charts by storm with her new single, Walking on Water. There we go, <laughs> Eliza Doolittle joins us now. So that was a video for your most recent thing, which you're going to perform for us in a bit, which yeah. is going to be fab. So what's going on there then? What's it all about? What, the song? Yeah. Oh, it's a love song, you know. It's just pure love, um, which is good, I think, because they're the best ones. <laughs> um, and it's, it's actually, like, specifically more about not being able to see your partner that you just are so in love with and being across the other side of the world. I do kind of 
wish I wish I could have those powers sometimes. So wh who are you separated from then that you feel the love for? Um, well, I'm not anymore, but <laughs> I was when I wrote that and I, I was just like, I was madly in love and just couldn't see him all the time. So I had to write about it. Yeah. And you've got a bit of inspiration. I, this is the shortest skirt I think we've ever had on the sofa. <laughs> I completely admire you. This is practising all your best etiquette for how to sit elegantly. I know, it? I know. I'm like watching, it's incredibly watching great. the camera. Yeah. And you've even got a bit of a Jesus theme on your nails. I know. So. I've gone in a bit. I've gone, I've gone for Jesus nails and Mary. I don't know if you can see. There you go. Hold it up. And I think it's brilliant that you have so much fun with what you do, don't you? Whether it be the skirts or the midriffs. <laughs> we see that a lot. Yeah, you're always all over the paper showing your midriff. Oh, am I? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's so fun to play around with, like, costumes and especially for stage shows and for performances. I thought more about the performance than sitting on the couch, but <laughs> I'll think about that next time you have me. <laughs> oh, OK. When you're standing up, all be demure. Don't panic, everyone. <laughs> now, you took a three-year break, didn't you, from um, after your first first album with this now the second album was that a plan thing was it you felt like you needed that amount of time kind of I think the the first album I did tour for like a year and a half and then I started writing straight away like I didn't take an actual break so I went I was we ended the tour in Colombia in South America and I went straight to Los Angeles and started writing because I'm not very good at taking breaks I like to take five days off and start getting itchy again and right. want to be working so I um so I did start working straight away, but I did have a lot more time to write than I expected. And so I just kept writing because mm. I, I had to hold on the release um, for, for uh. certain reasons. But basically, um, much more time. So I wrote so many songs and managed mm. to squeeze them all into the album. There's 13 tracks on the album. And um, yeah, just and when it was released, I was very kind of happy and re relieved to get it out there because I think it was a little longer than I would have liked. I would have two years is nice, three years is a bit too much, I think. And you probably get itchy because you've always written music, haven't you? I mean, when, we were really tiny when you started writing and composing, weren't you? Yeah, I did. I started when I was twelve, thanks to my mum, because she told me to start writing. I told her I wanted to be a singer. It's best advice I ever got, really. And. Um, and I loved it. And I think I was kind of had a lucky start. Like the first song I wrote was quite cute. And, it, and everyone was like, I like that song. So it gave me the confidence to keep going. And then I wrote yeah. some terrible ones in between. And, <laughs> and then started working on my sound and everything and finally got the first album out. Now, we mentioned that you've been performing at some festivals, Glastonbury, and also at the Winter White Ball, is that what it's called? With the Prince Jingle Bell Ball. Jingle, oh, there's a Jingle Bell Ball as well, and I was also thinking of the oh, one the with Winter Prince White William. Ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. Uh, and he actually got down with Bon Jovi and did a bit of singing. No, I was right there watching. He was pretty good. Was he? I thought he was as good as Bon Jovi. Did you? Maybe he could be a musician in another life if he, have, if he hadn't been born a... A prince. <laughs> How about a bit of a duet with a royal yourself? Do you fancy that? I mean, I'd be down. You down, <laughs> Prince William? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Right, we'll book him for next time, but All you right. better go and get ready to perform now. Yes. We're going to check out the competition while she gets ready.